Hey guys, today we got to rewrap the recoil on the 55. I used Paracord 550. It's got a 550 pound braking strength. I use this uh, instead of the regular recoil rope that you can buy because I have good luck with it. It's pretty tough. Uh, once I get my length cut, I uh, melt the ends with a lighter just to keep all the strands together. And I'll start with the spool, fishing it down through the hole, picking it out with a screwdriver, grabbing it with a pair of pliers, and seating up my knot. Once I got that knot seated, I'll uh, feed it through the recoil housing. But then I can put it into my pole handle. Once I have that all seated down, then it's just a matter of rewrapping the uh, cord around the spool. This is how I tie the knot, just wrap it around twice, grab a pair of pliers and then pull it up tight. Make sure it's good and uh, secure so it doesn't come undone on you. Now we just have to rewrap the cord around the spool. Pull some of the slack up, make a loop, and wrap it around the top of the spool. I usually start out doing it a couple of times. When I pull that around, I'm preloading the spring and it'll start sucking that cord back in. Usually it takes a few times, pull up another slack, a loop, wrap it around. Pull that back out. And each time you do this, you'll find out your handle's getting closer and closer to being seated. You see, I still got a little bit to go. I'll pull the cord out now, put some tension on the spring, hold the spool, pull up another loop, unwrap it, and then pull that one through. Now, it looks like it's seated right there, but after a couple of test pulls, I find out that I'll have to do it at least one more time you can see how the handle ends up hanging there a little bit so we'll do one more pull it out hold the spool pinch up a loop wrap it over and then pull it through now it's fully seated you got all the tension you need this one i did on the 55 and that's how you rewrap your cord. Thanks for watching.